Papua tanah yang kaya Surga kecil jatuh ke bumi Seluas tanah sebanyak batu Adalah harta harapan Raja Ampat is an archipelago located off the western tip of Papua, the Indonesian half of the island of New Guinea. There are 1,500 islands and 100 villages. The life in the seas around Raja Ampat is the most diverse in the world. Of all the fish and coral species found around the world, 75% or in Raja Ampat. 1,500 species of fish, and 537 species of coral. More and more divers and snorkelers from around the world are coming to Raja Ampat. International corporations are going for those tourist dollars, but international development could be a disaster for the local cultures and the natural environment. So some NGOs and local people are working together to try to develop local sustainable tourism. With the help of some NGOs, many local villagers have now started homestays. So these people who have rarely left their isolated islands are now doing international tourism business. Uh, it's quite a challenge for them. They're doing a pretty good job of it, um, but there's still a lot of challenges. Uh, one of those challenges, challenges is English. Uh, they, if they're going to be doing international tourist business, they need to speak English. So our aim is to develop local, sustainable English education in Raja Ampat. Menurutnya soal bahasa Inggris itu sangat penting untuk kami punya ya, ya mayoritas masyarakat yang ada di kampung-kampung di sekitar ini. <coughs> Soalnya banyak ya tiap bulan, tiap tahun itu banyak wisatawan yang masuk ke daerah kami namun ada keterbatasan-keterbatasan yang dialami oleh kami masih ya pribadi kami masing-masing antara lain our first project is the Sawingrai English effort. It includes two villages on Gam Island, Sawingrai and Kapisawar. We have plenty of eager students, adults with their homestead businesses, teenagers wanting to make friends with tourists, and a lot of giggling children. Now, learning English is a long-term process. It takes years to learn English. But we don't have permanent English teacher on the island, and there is no high-speed internet either. So how can we help people here to learn English? What we do have is a steady stream of English-speaking tourists passing through. Many of those tourists would be delighted to have conversations with the local people. And some of them would like to volunteer to help the people with their English. But how can they do that? In Bali, many people who speak English well tell us that they learned mainly by talking with guests. We believe that if people learn how to make friends with tourists, they will automatically, spontaneously, learn English. You learn how to make friends by making friends. You learn how to use English by using English. If we can create an environment where willing volunteers can make friends with local people, then they will automatically learn English. So we have two tasks. One is to help the local people develop the skills and attitudes they need to learn English from tourists. And the other is to set up a structure which will enable the tourists to make productive interactions with local people. The Sawingrai English effort began with a visit 
in July 2015 by six volunteers from Bali and the US. Our second visit is gonna be December 13, 2015 until January 5, 2016. During the visits, volunteers give daily classes to teach basic English. But our main goals are actually first to make students confident, eager, and willing to talk to foreigners. Second, to make recorded lessons that students can listen to when we're gone. And finally, to set up what is needed to enable students to benefit from guest volunteers. Recorded lessons can help the villagers continue to learn English after we leave. Millions of people around the world have learned English on the internet by using uh, recorded lessons such as A.J. Hogue's Effortless English, but high-speed internet has not gotten to GOM. Also another difficulty with that kind of lessons is that people have to be motivated to listen to the lessons over and over again. To build interest and to build a habit of learning from recorded lessons, we made a set of lessons about Raja Ampat, which people can listen to on their phones or on small MP3 players. Where do you live? We live in Sangrai and Kapisawar, two villages on Gam Island, Raja Ampat, West Papua, Indonesia. Some villagers tell us that they listen to the recording for an hour every day. On our upcoming trip in December, we plan to make more recordings, including autobiographies of some villagers. Guest volunteers are those who come to Raja Ampat as tourists, but are also willing to help people with their English. They need local people to set up opportunities for them to work with the learners, and they need willing learners who know how to benefit from the volunteers' efforts. Our first task is to help people overcome their shyness, and to talk with visitors. The people of these isolated villages rarely leave their islands. They have intimate, lifelong friendships with each other, but they have little experience making friends with strangers, even other Papuans. Villagers normally have little interaction with passing tourists, and they are too shy to initiate conversations. The first skill they need to learn is how to make friends with strangers, using whatever languages and gestures they have. English skills will ride on the coattails of friendship. At this point, the best way to help the people of Tsongrai and Kapisawar learn English is to make friends with them. If villagers learn how to enjoy meeting and talking with tourists, they will take the initiative to talk to more visitors. Every conversation will improve their English. Please join us for our volunteer visit in December. You can come anytime from December 13, 2015 until January 5, 2016. Your job will be to make friends, to teach few classes, and to help us make recorded lessons. And don't worry, you'll still have plenty of time to enjoy snorkeling, diving, sightseeing, and bird watching. Please visit our website www.bestteambali.com for further information.